I don't want to do wrong, but you've been gone away so long. And I hope, I hope you'll understand that it's really, it's real. Oh, yes, it is. It's out of my head. All right, family, especially my old school family out there. Y'all know that. Remember that? <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. You know, something really, really touched my heart, and I wanted to share it with the family. Yeah, I've been gone for a minute because I've been um trying to make additions to and um, trying to build up my Patreon channel and um, open myself up to a little bit more platforms. Y'all know I'm not used to this stuff, but I'm learning on the fly. And uh, you're never too old to learn, okay? But what I want to talk about is I, I read a story um, out of Atlanta. Uh, you know, and, you know, these police are so crazy all over the world that when you hear a story, when they just do something like save somebody's life and and they regardless of their color regardless of anything that they they could be facing that may separate us they take the job that they doing serious and they take the love of humanity over everything and that's what a member of the Atlanta Police Department SWAT unit did. In fact, he was in the right place at the right time when he saved the life of a four-month-old baby by administering CPR. The amazing footage mm, was all caught on Heroic Cop special. Um, it was all caught on camera. So Officer Robert Oden's his body cam caught it all. And it was around 12.30 p.m. on Friday. Odin was patrolling on, along the Martin Luther King corridor when a car in front of him began to flash its hazard lights and honk in the horn repeatedly. Okay. You know, just, you know, trying to get his attention. So, um, uh, it, it was a, a woman approached Odin, clutching her four month old baby, saying he was unresponsive. So almost immediately, Olin began administering CPR while also radiating in for an ambulance. And when you see this, these big hands around that four-month-old baby and giving it chest compressions, um, it's a sight to behold because, you know, actually, you know, Friday was the 13th, and it was very lucky for that little boy whose uh, name is Pierre. His life was saved by a passing SWAT cop hmm. with impressive CPR skills. A member of the Atlanta Police Department SWAT unit was in the right place at the right time when he saved the life of a four-month-old baby by administering CPR. The amazing footage was all caught again on this camera. And if y'all just see it, the woman is running down with her baby. I wish I knew how to split the screen, but I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> but you can see this on um, the Daily Mail, and she's running through the complex um, with her baby because ain't nothing more profound. There's nothing, there's no instinct that a woman has if she's in her right mind. Um, where her protective instincts would not kick in to save the life of her baby. And that's a 
a mother cow, a mother bear, a mother deer. It really doesn't matter. It's just a God force emotion. So this lady is running through the complex with her baby, and she told the police, you know, she's, you know, the baby was unresponsive, and she just begged him for help. Help me. So now, although I can't show it to you, I can definitely, definitely play like a minute of this video. So bear with me, family. It's beautiful. Hyundai Kona versus Jeep Renegade. That's not it, that's for sure. And I hope everybody has been doing um, incredibly well. I have I missed the family. I haven't been on there for have been live in a minute. Again, y'all know. And um, but I missed y'all. So I wanted to make sure I showed my face in the place. And um, I want y'all to check this out. I hope there's some sound to it. Yeah, it is. He's not responding. He's not responding. Yeah. Oh, got a baby emergency here at uh, oh uh, Fire Engine uh, Station oh number nine. Uh, oh baby yeah. not responding. This is this is Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The air. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a firm. That's a firm. Don't knock on the door. See if somebody's there. The location is going to be at fire station at 9 at the intersection of MLK and Jeff Martin. What's the full name for the 29? He's compressing the chest. He's laying the baby on the ground. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on, Taylor. Wow. Wow. Well, the ambulance, of course, arrived on the scene. And, um, wow. The ambulance arrived on the scene. And, um, for some people, reading can be a challenge. With four cameras. Damn it. Um, by the time the, am the ambulance um, came on the scene, hey, it was really an incredible moment. The woman is running with her baby. I cannot get rid of this damn school. Please get Read the fuck around. out of here. Um, it is beautiful. It's, it's, um, I mean, it is a life changing moment when you see officers do what they should do and not, um, take life, but help restore and to, uh, rely on their God given strength and allow God to operate through them. Not Satan. I mean, it really is a beautiful task. Read a magazine. You know what, y'all? For some reason, this I cannot get this little damn commercial off of my uh, off of my um system. But what I will say is this: again, that officer he needs to be uh, uh, given uh, commendations for being um a lifesaver, for being um. Uh, you know, just just for being that that good officer that everybody needs to see, that everybody wants to see, 
it, it's important. And so he saved the baby's life, obviously. And um, again, they haven't, um, you know, said too much about this on Nationals, but I think this was a, a, a feel-good story. Because we always hearing those stories that just tear us down. And you can only get so much of that before you need to um, break off that from your mentals. I don't care what nobody say. I'm telling you the gospel right now. You can't listen to that garbage 24 hours a day. Your mind wasn't built for that. Okay? Your mind wasn't built for the trash that the, uh, the elites are trying to throw on it. So you better try to make you some beauty and find you some good spots where you can think straight. So anyway, this little baby, his life was saved uh, with CPR. And uh, wow. He's such a little type. He's such a little, little, little thing. And the officer again, name was Robert Oden. And he needs to be commended. Because by the time the ambulance arrived on the scene, Oden had saved the baby's life as the baby had begun to cough and move his legs. Officers never know what to expect on their ship. They just show up ready to act. And when we make their jobs easier, it works best for the whole community. I mean, when you have a mental health crisis, it's best to call in mutt team and, and people that can deal with that particular crisis if you have that available in your state. But for this officer to be right there at that time and for a woman to be running down the street with her four-month-old baby, whoo, touched my heart, y'all. And um, the baby is okay. And so, um, again, I want to send a shout out to Robert Officer or Officer Robert Oden for his tremendous, efficient police work. So, like, with that being said, now, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.